All right, welcome back. So in this section, we're gonna talk about tongs. And in the first lesson here, we're gonna talk about the different types. And there's, there's a type of tongs for just about every purpose out there. Uh, I'm gonna focus on good all around tongs. So if you're, you're doing your beginning projects that we'll talk about a little bit later, you want a pair of tongs that are good for a variety of different things. And I'll show you a few examples of that here. So the tongs I use every day for most of my projects are these 3 8 inch, so that's the size of the jaws when they're closed, bolt tongs. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but they've got a square channel running down the jaws, a square notch on the sides, and then this wide open space at the back here. So as you work in a piece, I'm going to step away from the camera real quick to grab an example. Say you're making a wall hook, which is a good good kind of beginners uh, learning your technique sort of project once you make the belly of that hook this the curve there the main bend that wide open space at the back of those tongs is going to come in very handy so you can see that hook bend will fit through the back or fit through the the wide open space back there you still have a firm grip on the main body of that hook so you can do any sort of work up here that you need to do okay so 3 8 inch hook or tongs hold on to 3 8 inch thick material. They'll also hold on to flat stock. So bar stock can fit in the sides here inside those channels. And I make my main line of hooks with these tongs. Uh, other options on a very similar note, so half inch tongs, bolt tongs that are a little bit longer. Um, these two, even though they're similar, made by two different companies, so this is actually a, a riff kind of on these songs. These are much older, made by a company that doesn't do it anymore called Capricorn International, called Tom Tongs, T-O-M-T-O-N-G-S. And there are Tom Tong versions out there if you look up Tom Tongs online. So Capricorn International made these, the first pair of tongs I ever bought. So from another Smith who was one of my instructors when I was learning how to do this. About 25 bucks for that used pair. And then these are made by Centaur Forge. So I've mentioned them a couple of times and you, you probably want to hear about another supplier, but I, I enjoy them. Uh, Centaur Forge, they make these tongs. It's their brand and they work, they work great. Okay. So bolt tongs, very handy to have. Another option for beginners and, and seasoned smiths alike is the wolf jaw. And they're called that because if you look at it uh, from the side, it looks like a wolf's jaw. So it's got a few different notches running down the side there. It's got the square channel running down the middle. The back space is not quite as big as the other ones, but you can still grip stuff with a bend to it and have a secure grip. Uh, these are very sturdy. As they heat up, or as the, they've been working with metal, they will heat up over time. So you'll start to get a warm hand back here if you're not wearing a glove. So that's one thing to keep in mind. There's more mass to these, the reins are thicker. So if we compare the two, thicker, more material there is gonna hold heat a little bit longer. And these are probably 40, $45 brand new. Now, let's talk a bit about those prices. Um, well, actually, we'll get into pricing once we're, once we're into the buying section. So hold off on that. Um, one other type of tongs that I, I use quite a bit in my classes, at least, and uh, doing certain things with knife making is the railroad spike tongs. So you can see these jaws are offset. If we compare them to these, which are nice and flat, offset jaws, right? They're quite a bit larger, so they grip onto a bigger piece of material. If you're working flat stocks, so if you're making uh, a, carbon, a knife out of carbon steel, you can grip that flat stock sideways through here, hammer it out, and have nice, good, solid control. These brand new are about 45, um, purchased from Blacksmith's Depot. Okay, so that's a little bit about the different tong types. Um, one last one that I'll point out that I use quite a bit is uh, scroll tongs, and these are good See, they've got those rounded, tapered jaws. These are good for adjusting scrolls and small curves once you make them. So you can get a grip on it while it's hot. You're holding on with another pair of tongs over here, and you can slowly turn that, right? So it takes a little bit of arm strength to turn it around, but these are 
these are basically priceless for what some of the things I do. I make good adjustments with those. Okay, so that's a bit about the tong types, and we'll see you on the next lesson. Thanks.